Hey everybody, Pookie TVX. Wanted to wish y'all, man, a um, happy new year. I ain't get to say it on New Year's Day. I'm pretty busy. Um, but I wanted to wish y'all happy New Year's, man, and help everybody start off on a good, you know, a good clean slate this new year. <laughs> you know, everything you everything you um, missed in the last year, increase it this year, man. Just do, just try and do something good, man. You know. Either your community, your family, your kids, something, man. Just, you know, try and reach out, man. That's what I wanted to say, man. I want to salute y'all, man. All y'all out there, man. Um, You know, I just I, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about something. Um, watching YouTube, man, and, um, you know, I ain't going to say no names or nothing, but, I, you know, if y'all figure it out, y'all figure it out. But um, I'm listening to this guy's live, man. And he's throwing subliminals out there about a situation that he was in with another person. And the subliminals that he's throwing out is really not subliminals. It's like it's like do something do it's like do this or I'm gonna tell. Or it's like basically telling is what he's doing in his life. And he's trying to get people behind him to bring this person down. When he done had many of many of many a chances to bring this person down. He was literally this close to the person and taking a picture with him with a big ass Kool-Aid smile. If somebody did something, if somebody did something to me, the way he's saying that somebody did this to him, it wouldn't even be no uh, situation, man. It wouldn't even be no me next to nobody that did that. Because my anger, my uh, hatred, you know, my dignity will be on the fucking line. And that person wouldn't be breathing no more. That's just period. And I think that goes for any man that's had his um, manhood snatched and has an opportunity to come close to close to the person that did that to you. I think that any man would do that. Well, obviously not. You know, obviously not after this situation, what I've seen. And now the person is basically throwing, basically doing a goddamn rant. A rant to where he's trying to warn the person about some information that he has on that person that can get the person that did these nasty ass things to him locked up. I have sympathy and my heart goes out for people, kids, women, has been molested and been sexually abused and and basically um, basically psychologically fucked up from the shit that they've been through. My heart goes out for them, man. I, you know, it's a sad situation that should never happen. But as a victim of something like that. 
it's hard enough for you guys to speak out and to say what happened, let alone go into graphic fucking detail on what happened to you. I mean, graphic ass details about about he don't get hard unless it's a little boy or or um he shot cum on my legs or he fired me or or um uh, or um he had a little boy orgy I mean all this shit man And this should have been the focus years ago on a way to get this dude taken down, man. It should have been a focus on that years ago. But when he see people siding with the guy and being there with the guy, he gets upset. And says, why are they around a pedophile? Why are they supporting a pedophile? But at the same time, this is the same person that took a picture with him. At the same time, this was the person that was supposed to track down another victim. At the same time, this is the person that talked shit and shitted on another victim. Said he had bust his head to the white meat, a victim. A fucking victim. <laughs> Obviously y'all know who it is by now. But to go in there and to go live and talk in graphic detail about the situation to goddamn strangers that he don't even fucking don't even fucking know. Instead of a sitting down with a goddamn therapist that can fucking walk him through this shit. And he says he has his mom that's in the hospital that's fighting right now. And my man, my heart goes out to that man. I lost my mom. I know how that shit feels, man. And instead of focusing his energy on the mom, he's ranting about a person that somebody took a picture with. And there's a picture, when there's a picture floating around of him with the abuser. Make sense of that. This internet will fuck some people up. Some people are, or well, some people get emotionally distraught to where they can't handle it. So they fucking lash out and start saying all kind of shit that they supposed to say. Like when a woman gets mad. Not saying this person's a woman. I'm just saying it's the same type of situation when a woman gets mad. They just fucking rage out and start doing all kind of dumb shit. And then 10 minutes later after they realize what they did, they want to be nice and try and fucking act like the shit didn't happen. It's called bipolar. We got to do better, y'all. This is the second day of the new year. And it's already some bullshit out there. I, 
I don't know if we could ever get it together, man. But all I can say is that it's not about everybody. It's you focusing on you and controlling what's around you and trying to uplift what's around you. Don't get sucked in to this hurricane of bullshit. Stay blessed. Focus on your grind. Live righteous. And do for you and the people that love you. I understand that other shit is entertainment. You can, you can watch it and do all that shit. I do it. It's entertainment. But don't get sucked into that bullshit. Because misery loves company. And this person asking everybody who's willing to fight this war with them. To me, a war that should have been done years ago. It is what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. I just wanted to get on here and say a little something for the new year. There's some stuff that I've seen that jumped off already. Yeah. See, I just, man, I understand you watching for the entertainment. Just watching for the entertainment. And, you know, don't go too far up in that shit, man. Don't do it. And, oh, yeah, shot Humble King. We got that bet, man. Cassidy going to do it. Yeah. Even though that transgender shit, I know about all that shit. But Cassidy, man, he came from the underground rap, battle rap scene, man. We going to see, though. We going to see, though. But the bet on. Bet on. All right, y'all. Have a blessed one. Enjoy your New Year's. Live it up to the fullest. Do all the great things you want to do. Focus on your family and positivity. And live life, man. I'm out.